vigorous maturity. For the first time in history, Australia is the meeting place for a top-level conference of finance ministers of the British Commonwealth. A strict check on credentials is made at Sydney's Hotel Australia, where the meeting takes place. Mr. Harrison greets the delegate from India. The Prime Minister with Sir Oliver Gunataliki of Ceylon. Ministers Harvanhar of South Africa and McIntyre of Rhodesia. Pakistan's Mr. Muhammad Ali. At this conference, decisions are made which may affect millions. A balanced economy is vital to all nations of the Commonwealth. Mr. R. A. Butler, United Kingdom Chancellor of the Exchequer, has this to say. Hope, imagination and expansion. Those are the key words of the future. Do put your hand up. I believe that I am the first British Chancellor of the Exchequer to visit Australia during my term of office. And I've been here to attend the meeting of the Commonwealth Finance Ministers. We've been following up the excellent work done at our previous meetings. And we're here to consolidate the gains made and to be ready for what is good or what is bad in the coming year. And I'm glad to say I think that good progress has been and will be made. We are concentrating on developing the resources, the immense resources of the Commonwealth, not only here in Australia, but in the other countries who have come here so willingly to meet us. And we hope, we hope, we hope thereby to meet one of the great problems which we found in Britain, and that is the need to expand our overseas trade, especially in engineering goods and so forth because the more expansion and development there is in the Commonwealth, you see, the more chance there is for us to export our goods abroad and keep up the level of trade with the empire. And whether things go well or whether things go badly, that is the one essential for our own people at home to have a greater chance of exporting to our own Commonwealth as well as to the rest of the world. So you see the work we're doing <laughs> So you see, the work we are doing together, all the other Commonwealth countries and Britain, is of first class importance to the future of each one of our citizens at home. And that's why I have so much not only enjoyed, but profited by my experience here. And I hope it will yield dividends in the time to come to all of us at home, as well as to our friends and neighbors overseas. Hope, imagination, and expansion, those are the key words of the future. We've been following up the excellent work done at our previous meetings and we're here to consolidate the gains made and to be ready for what is good or what is bad in the coming year. And I'm glad to say I think that good progress has been and will be made 